doesn't matter what has happened all the way up. And, and trust me, my trauma is crappy, but it's not any crappier than yours. <laughs> guys it's so good to see you thanks for watching you know what i want to connect to you and i want to connect with you and i want to know more about you so do me a favor in the comment section below just write and tell me how you feel i want to engage with you i want to acknowledge you i want to see you and i want you to know that you're being heard i'm not a mind reader yet in this lifetime so please help me by writing something in the comment section below don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and share and tell all of your friends about about the connections that you're making and I will see ya on the flip side. Hey guys, it's Terry. So good to see you. How's your heart today? I hope it's well. And if it's not, that's also okay. Wherever you are is actually the place where you're supposed to be. And I know that sounds cliche, but that's what I want to talk to you about today. So the human blueprint is to want to know outcomes and results, right? We don't like uncertainty. We want to know everything right now, right here. This way we can kind of relax and surrender into whatever we think life should be like. But as we all know, life never goes the way that we want to go and we have lessons to learn. And it's through those lessons that evolution happens. And the evolution that happens comes because of the contrast, right? Living in third dimension physical reality, we live in that world of polarity and duality where we know the counterpoints and the opposites of things, right? So we know when we have something, we know when we don't have something, right? We know when we're happy, we know when we're not happy, right? So it's that awareness and it's that knowledge of the opposites that we're always trying to balance out. And as we balance it out, that process, you know, gives us challenges and it doesn't always feel good. And it consistently reminds us of where we are at any given moment, right? oftentimes we're not where we want to be. So, you know, let's say you're 30 years old and by the time you were 30, you thought you would already be married, right? Or let's say you're 50 years old and you're just starting a new job where you thought you'd be running a company by now or something. So. There's a lot of things that happen to us in our process, in our evolution, as we're growing up, right? And just being human and experiencing the contrast of that polarity and duality, that it all often, beep, 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 boo, <laughs> it often makes us think that we're off track. Um, we need to course correct. Uh, we're not perfect, there's something wrong with us. Um, and it's not true, none of it is true. Our life experience is based on our life experience. And it's our experiences that have shaped who we are up right until now and who or what can potentially shape our future, right? So, we can be a victim if we want, you know, you can always put something on like a coat, take it off if you don't like it. I mean, maybe you do like being a victim and blaming a whole bunch of things that happen in your life for being where you are right now. But I invite you to consider that those experiences actually helped form who you are right now. And even if you're not where you want to be right now, that doesn't mean you can't get to where you want to be or get to where you want to go, right? So yeah, shit has happened to us. There is not one human being out there who hasn't experienced some sort of contrast on some level. And I'm about to say something controversial, but trauma is trauma, all right, people? Like the level and the degree of trauma doesn't really matter because if the human brain deems 
something as traumatic, that action is traumatic. Okay, so comparing our traumas to each other is just, it's controversial, but I call it bullshit. Like your trauma is your trauma. It's so valid. It shaped your experiences to who you are. My trauma is my trauma. It's shaped my experiences to who I am. I'm not gonna say your trauma's worse than mine or my trauma's worse than yours because it's also subjective and it helped us get to where we are right now, right? The hard part about navigating our way through this human experience because of polarity and duality is understanding that we're actually at the perfect place and we're in the right time, right place, right now, no matter what happened in the past, right? Because the past, right, has become the future. I'm sorry, excuse me. The past <laughs> has become the present, yes? So currently right now, if we haven't worked on ourselves at all from the past, what we have right now in the present is a past present, right? So right now we're at the place of a present past, right? So if we're gonna go ahead and create a future from where we are right now, we're actually creating a future past. I hope you guys understand that. So that's why it's super important to trust, even if you're not happy where you are at your life in this moment, that you are at the perfect place and you are at the perfect time because that can change, right? So we're always, in the best place where we can be to either continue doing what we've been doing or start new and creating a future that isn't based on the past because otherwise we're just always time traveling and it's not healthy to always be time traveling. There are appropriate times to time travel when you have a clear slate in the present, right? So you don't have, you're not bringing anything from the past so that your present is like clear, right, and clean. And so anything you create in the future is your future future. It's not your future past. Make sense? I hope, I hope, I hope. I know this can be complicated, but this is just like the world of dimensions and realities, right? So when we are grounded in the present moment, and we see things or experiencing or experience things for as they are right now, not as we perceive them to be from our experiences in the past, that present moment can really help heal that feeling uh, that we're running behind or we're not on schedule. Like I'm 46 years old and I am still single. Like, you know, Part of my, the message I received growing up, and I'm being transparent with you, is that I'm Jewish. I had to like be married and have kids by now so I can replenish all the Jewish people from the Holocaust, right? So there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of trauma, you know, around time scarcity and dating, right? That I cannot bring with me into my present. All, uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna, you know, create a really crappy future with like probably a horrible partner. Um, or I might just end up completely and totally alone by myself, you know? So it's, it's understanding that if we can be in the present moment, uh, we can reteach ourselves that we're actually not behind. So technically I'm not even behind the fact that I'm 46 years old and I'm single. Like I'm not behind. Right? And it doesn't matter what has happened all the way up. And, and trust me, my trauma is crappy, but it's not any crappier than yours. <laughs> right? It's not uh, worse than yours. Yours isn't worse than mine. It just, it is for me, just like it is for you. But it's super important for us to realize that where we are right now, we're at the right place, we're at the right time. Right? It is hard for us to trust that what is for us will not pass us up right? 
And part of that comes from our responsibility and accountability for the choices that we are making in our current reality. So if we're making choices in the present based on our past experiences, we're always time traveling to the past. We humans are way more sci-fi <laughs> than we give ourselves credit for, right? So we're always time traveling to the past and that's the energy that we are emitting. That is our broadcasting signal, right? So understanding that if we can get into the frequency of just being in the generous present moment, we're at this moment, we're not behind, at this moment we can actually continue or we can start something new that allows us and it gives us more control or at least a sense of control, which remember when I started this video, I was talking about how we humans want to know those outcomes and results, right? So if we can understand and we can teach ourselves that we do have more choice and decision and power in this world than just allowing ourselves to be at the whim or the chaos of the world, that comes from a trust and from a knowing that we're at the right place at the right time. So our choices and decisions can now lead us into a different reality into a future future instead of a past future right so these are these are reasons why we're at the right place at the right time you know things are not necessarily happening on our time schedule and that of course is because we are evolving and shifting and growing there are certain lessons that we as humans have to learn and participate in, in order to get to the next level, right? So sometimes we can't progress further until we've learned something. So that shows up in the physical reality, third dimension as polarity and duality. Abraham Hicks calls it a uh, contrast. So, you know, if, if, if we can get a, just a good sense of our energy in the present moment and really get over ourselves, be greater than who we are, we can then really trust and embrace. I think the word is more embrace. Embrace that we're not behind. We're exactly where we are. We're exactly where we need to be at the right time and at the right place. And even though we're having challenges and it may not feel good, we are where we are and where we are is okay. It's okay. And embracing that helps us get into the energetic frequency of acceptance. And when we are receiving acceptance, we are then emitting acceptance. And then our reality around us can reflect that. And that will help us with the clean slate in the present so that we can authentically create a future future instead of a past future. So I'm hoping that this um, you know, helps you understand more why you're actually at the right place at the right time in any given moment. You know, it may not feel good, but it's temporary. You have my word on that. It's temporary, um, but it's also very much needed so that we can level up and go to new level, new devil. It's part of the human experience. There's no way around it. We've got to go through it. So the more we can get into that frequency of acceptance, the smoother our, our path will be and the faster, the quicker we'll actually get there because we won't be in resistance by noticing it and logging and tracking all the things that haven't happened or what we don't have. Again, that's us learning how to use duality and polarity, the counterpoints, right? So, you know, this 3D world of physicality is is an adventure and we get to choose our way through it. So I hope that that helps understand you understand it more. I hope it brings a little bit more calm, more sense, and most of all acceptance.
because you're not broken. Nothing is wrong with you just because you want to be further ahead. But you know, transformation takes time. Everything takes time. So you're at the right place at the right time. Where you are is where you are and where you are is okay. All right, you guys stay connected, right? Stay connected to your family and friends, stay connected to yourself. And of course you can stay connected to me. You can check me out at terryhuberman.com. You can check out my Patreon. I've got a community where I am involved with you guys, just specifically that community for there's live workshops. There are um, group readings. There are energy shifting sessions just for you. So I really, really am curating this idea of uh, community and connection because connection is one of my biggest values. And it is so important for us to connect because when we feel connected, whether it's to ourselves, whether it's to other people or whether it's to the divine, we feel safe in this world. And this way we can reach our goals, we can have our purpose, and it just makes life so much easier to navigate. So just know that um, if you do wanna work with me, I'd love to work with you. I can teach you how to connect so that you get out of indecision and into your intuition and you can really live and thrive in a life of freedom, joy, and security. So you can check me out at terryhuberman.com and I'll see ya on the flip side. <laughs>